I have been sent out on the food run and my friend outside the hotel has shut up for the day. She's had a hard day's work so I've wandered further down underneath the expressway just past Telat Blue Station. There's a whole load of uh, vendors getting ready to sell for the evening I think and I've gone for some rice and holy basil. One spicy, one not spicy. I think it's going to be 40 or 50 baht each which seems pretty reasonable to me and I'm kind of tempted to try whatever's going on behind me. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of nacho with cream cheese. Should I be brave? Mm, looks good though. Sarah would be proud. I have been adventurous and I have gone for the nachos and cream. They're not spicy, um, but that's about all I know about them. I didn't get to the uh, bottom of whether they were fishy or not, but if they are, Sarah can have them all. Um, and they were 30 baht for a big tub, and it was 80 baht for two portions of rice and holy basil. So. I'll let you know if it's any good. I reckon it will be. It seems like, uh, I mean, every time I've walked past, it's not been at the right times there. So it seems quiet when I'm there, but I bet it's not. It seems really well located out of the station. And I bet people grab something from there on their way home from work. Um, but in general, the street food in Thailand has been great. I, I love the food here in Thailand. I find it so easy to um, order here and to be a bit more adventurous as well, to be honest but it does feel like the wind's picking up and I reckon we could be in for a treat of a thunderstorm tonight. There we go. The clong hanging around in the background and a dog knocking around underneath the freeway. He knows the rain's coming, he's not silly. Tail to the air, balls exposed. He is uh, an alpha dog for sure. And I was drawn in to see they do have a layout of everything that's here underneath the expressway. I need Google Translate to figure it out, but it does look like recreational stuff, courts, and yeah, I think it's cool. Anyway, I do want to try this shop out again. But for the minute, my friends have packed up and the pink balloons are still flying, so safe for me to head back. One final stop at Lawson's and one hello and welcome. Man, that must annoy the hell out of those staff. You get people coming in and going and it's greeting you all day. Yeah, that would great on me. I do feel sorry for them. Um, but I think that will be the last trip. I've got a little uh, fruit juice, so some vitamins, I think. And time to test my card. I almost dropped it in the uh, market. Luckily, I saw it. And it looks like on our tray of deliveries, we have all the food. Yeah, and someone's got print dropped off a 3D printer. That is kind of crazy. So I am loving being back in Thailand. This is really, really good. It's really spicy. I'm loving it. I've missed that, that zing, that tang and that punch. Um, and Sarah's is not spicy at all, hopefully. No, and it's like literally 40 baht, did you say, a pound? Cheap at the price, and we still don't, haven't discovered what these are. I'm hoping it's, I don't know, I wanted nachos and cream cheese, but we'll see. Yeah. They're like, are they savoury? Are they sweet? I don't know, I just know they're not fishy. What are they? Oh, they're like sweet. Okay, they yeah. weren't meant to be sweet. Okay. So that's kind of like a marshmallowy thing. Okay. This is like a, a crispy pancake, and the topping is, it looks like carrot, but it's probably not. Coconut maybe, coconut. Okay, so not what I was expecting. I wasn't planning on bringing you back sweet treats. No. Um, not for you then. No. And as is to be expected, outside the mall, the market has sprung to life and everyone has decided to come out. I mean, it's still hot, I'd say around 34 degrees, um, but the, the sun isn't high in the sky. And yeah, how a place can change. Let's see if I can get through this market without uh, too many sounds of music. So the mission is to find some fruit for Sarah for tomorrow and I'm sure there is going to be some. I think they're going to have everything here. 
it's hot as you walk through from all the food stalls and it smells great. And I think this is probably one of those markets that gets talked about so much where you can try absolutely everything. Okay, I think we are getting down to the business of things right here. Doing my best not to get in the way of people. So all of a sudden, as you step into this area, the temperature has shot up, and I guess it's from all that frying that's going on. But the smells are amazing. And it looks like you have other stuff as well. So you've got bits for your hair and clothing, big old trainer shop. And to be fair, it's not absolutely crazily busy in here. I've been in far, far busier. It's quite nice actually. I think you can probably find everything you want here. And I'm sure Sarah's going to be jealous when she sees the amount of food on, on display. And everything seems really reasonable here as well. It's so much cheaper in this area than everywhere else we stayed in Bangkok. And I guess it's because we were staying in places that are intrinsically more expensive. And there don't seem to be many Western faces here at all, which I kind of like, I guess. It shows you're seeing something perhaps a little bit more real, a little bit more authentic. I always say those big mats of oil just scare me and they are everywhere here. I don't know how the, uh, the approach to safety works here, but it kind of does. Like, touch wood, I've not seen accidents or anything on the road. Um, and I guess just if you are always aware of those ever-present dangers, that big boiling tubs like that, then you're always looking out. So yeah, it's a bad thing for me because I am always mindlessly tripping over things. So I think I'm getting towards the end of the market. So it's big, I'd say it's five aisles deep and I would say a good 100 meters long. And the stalls are absolutely packed in. And this, this was just an empty car parking space earlier. so. All these have sprung up and appeared, and I think there we are in the background. So perhaps Sarah is there watching me from afar. There we go, a little bit of music at the end. If I hadn't already eaten, and probably if I had Sarah with me to uh, tempt me, I'm sure I could try a lot of these things, but perhaps I'll wait for Sarah to come and uh, get involved and guide me a little bit after my... Uh, by picking of the nachos earlier, which turned out to be the strangest of strange sweet that I um, have ever had, I think. Probably up there with Hello Hello. It was a uh, sweet um, biscuit, and then it had like cream cheese, and then it had, uh, I don't know, some kind of gelatinous coconut, and then probably some like herbs that you'd expect to find perhaps in a curry. So yeah, it was a, a bizarre mix that perhaps didn't suit my palate. I'm not a big fan of some of the sweet things. I'm, I'm more of Thai green curry and uh, anything deep fried really that's bad for me basically. And here we go, we are back at M Lifestyle and I think I'm gonna resist the temptation to go in there again. I think once is enough for me. And right at the end I am getting in the way of people. I did so well going through there. And it's really chilled. Like a lot of the, uh, the markets that we've been to have been super hectic but it just seems really relaxed here in general. This whole area is so different from anywhere else we stayed in Bangkok. I really like it. I think it's gonna be a good place to stay for a few weeks. Um, so I think maybe we'll do that and just, yeah, use this as a base. It's, uh, it's nice to walk around, I like it. And I don't know how much time I'm gonna be spending on my own um, and talking to myself. But hopefully Sarah will uh, be joining me tomorrow. Maybe we can do something. Um, maybe local as well but perhaps a little bit more uh, touristy let's go and see a site of uh, tell that blue and see what they have to offer so i think i'm going to leave the market i've got my fruit i think i've done quite well i've got my grapes melon and banana which i think will make a good breakfast in addition to that rice and egg i'm going to wander back along the train track and see if that place is livened up too. Here we go, I'm gonna go for it. It's one way, so I feel a bit safer. It's not like Vietnam where one way doesn't mean a thing and it's back and forth up whatever lane you fancy, but I'm still gonna be with a lot of caution. This one's a little bit more technical. 
got to deal with left and right and filtering from behind and we are back to where I stopped earlier and it seems a little bit busier no, it does seem a lot busier to be fair but it's not heaving like the other place I guess this is more of a, a local local spot where perhaps we've just been outside the mall is is the main event but I'm sure the food is just as good here as it is over the other way and let's see behind the bars and underneath the freeway what's going on I can see a really difficult way to cross the road and I'm probably going to have to go into the road to do this I definitely chose wrong here I don't know maybe I can sneak in and around no I definitely can't those Storra boys but I'm going to do this quickly because I should be on the curb and here we go we have the BMXs what are they doing a bit of flat, flatland freestyle and perhaps yeah go on oh I found it and are there are a few skateboarders knocking around it looks like the BMXs the bikers are holding it down here cool okay maybe something's going to be going on on the stage oh, and I'm going to get out of the way of all the water being thrown on the floor and on my feet holding it down for the underground sports. Nice. I am back safely on my balcony before that storm has arrived. There are flashes in the background and I think I might be in for a treat tonight. The dogs are barking. That's a sign that storms coming around here for sure. Um, I'm glad I'm safe and tucked away up here. And so is Sarah. It was good when I got back. She is fast asleep and that's kind of where I want to see her if I'm honest and I'm glad that she's just rested for these few days and although it's um, yeah, it's different going out and doing it on your own um, and today has been quite experimental I think I've just put the camera in my face and walked and talked so I don't know if it's worth watching or not if I'm honest um, but it got me through the day and I don't think it would have been good for me to have uh, stayed in and kind of done nothing in the flat um, so I'm glad for that. I'm glad that it uh, gave me some distraction and I'm glad Sarah took the opportunity to rest. So there we are. You have to, you have to bury these things. Bury them behind uh, distraction and minutiae. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see if that storm's going to be a good one. I can see flickers on the horizon. There we go. The release is what we need. Oh,